Hey, what's up guys? Let's go ahead and set up this one for wireless printing so that I can use my phone, my laptop, or any other computer to just send a, a file to this uh, printer and print it right away. So anyways, number one here that you need to take note is that the printer should be capable of having Wi-Fi technology with it. The first thing we need to do is connect this one to our Wi-Fi network, okay? Okay, as you can see here, guys, we have the panel here where we can see what's, what we can configure. I want to jump in how to configure the wireless connection so that we'll be able to connect this one to our Wi-Fi. Settings, that's main and sprinter setup. Okay, network settings. So on the settings page, I could see network settings. I can go status, Wi-Fi setup, okay. Okay, you can print wirelessly from computers and devices via Wi-Fi. All right, Wi-Fi wizard, searching for SSID. So let's search for, I have the T-Pro, so that's uh, the available SSID. I want to connect it to my T-Pro, that's the Wi-Fi that I'm connected to. And then of course I need to um, type in the Wi-Fi password. So... We're done. Okay, so next thing, I wanna try it in my phone first before we jump into the computer. Uh, let's go to my phone, right? Um, we are both connected with, like you see this one, it's T-Pro. So what I gotta do is like find um, like a photo. Let's try to find a photo. This one, let's try to print this uh, a photo from Kung Fu Panda, right? So I'll just go here. I'll just try to see forward. Uh, airplay print. Okay, so what printer do we have here? Yep. Okay, so there you go. I have it here already. Epson L5290. Okay, so it detected right away. Then I'm going to print. Oh, it's printing already. You can see it here. See, it's printing. Let's try to see. There you go. I bet ya we set it up properly. So remember, I connected this one to the Wi-Fi network and my iPhone right away detected that the Epson L520 is there connected. So I can go ahead and print. How is that? Ha ha ha. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go to the a computer and try to see if we can detect this one already, right? I'll just go here and like type in printers. So let's try to see if the L520 is here, right? So um, we don't have it yet. Of course, if I'm going to show you, I'm connected with the um, T-Pro network, as you can see there um, at the bottom here, you can see that I have T-Pro, right? So let's get back to the settings. Go for that um, app device. And uh, there you go, it can see it here already, L5290 series. So I'm going to add device. And you can see the status here, it's connecting. Remember that this is wireless because I'm connected to the Wi-Fi of uh, T-Pro wirelessly. So once you have connected your printer on the Wi-Fi network, you should be able to see it all throughout your network from laptops to desktop that is connected to phones, Android, iOS, it should be able to print. Okay, as you can see here, the status is ready. So the thing that I'm going to do is like, let's go ahead and print this one, that print button. Um, save as PDF, no, we need to find Seymour. Okay, we can see that this is the device, the Wi-Fi L5290 series. Can you see that one? Yep, I guess, I hope you can see it. And you can see that it has an IP address, so it means to say that we are sharing this one via Wi-Fi. So, there you go, print. This one should be able to get out the printer. So let's go and check the printer right away. Okay, let's try to check this one out, guys, if it is printing. What we have sent it to print via Wi-Fi. Ha! Gotcha, guys. Let's go and compare this one to the computer. It's the same. 
That's how easy you can uh, uh, set up your wireless printing to your printer. In this case, what we use was the Epson L5290 printer. Get the concept? So that's it guys. I hope you have learned something from this video. Hope to see you on the next one.